Hi, so in this video I'm going to continue going through the questions for game four from prep test 74. Um, so the next question is question 20. Right? Um, and question 20 asks us which one of the following is a complete and accurate list of all of the photographers who are our players here um, who must be assigned. So we know from the rules that F and H must be assigned and they are included in all the answer choices. So um, they're not gonna be very nice to us there. There are no uh, freebies in terms of elimination. So F and H are included. Um, now we have to um, make sure that it's possible that some of the other players are actually out. Um, so let's, uh, let's go through our options here. So. Um, is it possible to put K out? Um, now, putting K out does have consequences, so um, let's go through that. All right, so um, S, T, right, out. So if K is out, um, then H and M are both in T, right? H has to be with F, so F is in T as well. Um, we have three in T, we have two spots that we have to fill in S. Um, so those spots would have to be filled by G and L. Is this allowed? Um, and the short answer is no, it's not. Um, the reason is rule three. So if G is in S, then L has to be in T. Uh, so putting K out is going to land us in a situation where either we're breaking rule three by putting G and L both in S, or we're breaking um, the minimum rule because by avoiding putting G and L both in S, um, we're only going to have one player in group S. So that's not allowed. Okay, so that means that we cannot put K out. K must be in, um, therefore K has to be on the list. Uh, so we're dealing with either B or C at this point. And the difference between them is um, that C includes L as one of the photographers who must be assigned. Uh, so we're going to test that. So let's try putting L out. Um, if L is out, then L is not in T. Um, so G cannot be in S. Okay, so we have two spots to fill in S, two spots to fill in T. Um, and G is not in S. Okay, still looks like we have quite a few options. Um, so what I would do at this point is I would just try not to um, uh, to trigger any rules that are going to make things problematic. So um, I would start by actually avoiding rule four altogether and putting K in T. Okay, um, we need to put F and H together, um, but it doesn't matter at this point where they are. So let's put them over here so that we can fill that minimum really easily. And then we could put G in T or M. Um, G or M could also be out um, and we wouldn't have any problems there. Um, putting G uh, in S would be problematic, but we already dealt with that. So yeah, looks like we're good. We've also demonstrated here that it's possible to have G out or M out, and that's not gonna cause um, any issues. So that's another way that we can eliminate D and E if we hadn't already eliminated them based on our first little trial here. So the correct answer is B because it's possible that L is out. L does not have to be assigned. Okay, and um, in the process, we got one acceptable solution this is not an acceptable solution. Okay, so I wanna make sure that we um, eliminate that. If we're looking back at our notes, uh, we don't wanna mistake this for an acceptable solution.